Now, another part of the plan, cutting costs on health care and pensions for teachers and state employees. Tonight, Valley residents rallying against Senate Bill 5. Julie Loper has more from Salem. We are the middle class. We are the middle class. Mighty, mighty middle class. Ohio public workers from across the valley are hoping to tell the state enough is enough. We're its citizens, we're its families, we're its workers, and we're our county people that go out and help the communities. About 100 people showed up for the rally against Senate Bill 5 that would take away collective bargaining rights for public workers. And he could take Senate Bill 5 and he can show. Joanne John Tomey works with the Ohio Association of Public Employees. She says despite popular belief, most Ohio workers aren't paid so-called premium rates. You know, my workers, the average salary of my workers is $24,000. We're not the rich people that he's trying to cut. He's not touching the rich. Everyone at the rally expects SB5 to pass, but leaders say this is just a jumping off point. So we really see this as a kickoff to building a, a, a strong grassroots team of people that's going to go out and knock on doors and run phone banks and collect signatures and, uh, and not let it stand. If the bill passes, Democrats and other SB5 opponents hope to get it on the ballot and let the voters decide in November. It's not over, no, not at all. If it does pass, which I'm sure it's going to, uh, we will have to continue it, we will repeal it, and we'll continue to fight out in the streets and take it to the people that need to hear about it. We are Julie Loper, 27 First News.